while we need to continue our efforts at basic research to uncover new and fundamental knowledge, it's important to also focus on how this knowledge can improve human health in real terms. Often it's at the interface of disciplines that, that combine multiple fields of knowledge, that translation of the deeper scientific insights that come from the lab can find their beneficial expression in patients. That's what translational medicine is about. The most efficient way to understand all streams of knowledge and create new knowledge with it that has a direct impact on public health. There are engineers that devise new medical devices. There are biochemists that devise new chemical agents that can be used as drugs. There are computational biologists that devise algorithms that can improve imaging methods. All these things are part of medicine, but they're from widely divergent groups with different expertise. The, the mission of the journal is to, to try to stimulate more effective science in this area by bringing uh, to bear you know, a powerful voice for innovation. This journal, Science Translational Medicine, really truly um, reflects the need of the scientific community to focus on what we call the field of translational medicine. Why is that? It's become very obvious that over the past 10 years, we've made an enormous amount of progress and discoveries at the basic level. But as we've done so, we've realized that biology is much more complex than we thought it was. And this daunting complexity makes it quite difficult to take that knowledge and translate it to, for human health, for human patients. So this translation used to be quite linear in the past. I mean, you, you, you could do it quite straightforwardly, not anymore. We're doing it now in part because of the increased interest in translational medicine that we see coming from organizations like the National Institutes of Health, but from patient groups, from basic scientists who want their work to get translated into clinical practice. They need an outlet, they need a place to talk about this important interface between basic and clinical research. Innovation happens when you bring different ideas and different approaches together in new ways. And so this journal is a meeting place for those different ideas and it will try to encourage in its reviews and in its uh, editorials new ways of thinking about important problems. So this journal will be centered around original research papers that make significant contributions to translating basic science results into improvements in clinical medicine. But we're also going to be having commentary from experts in uh, many areas that touch on translational medicine, the re regula regulatory environment, from pharmaceutical industry, uh, from patent law, from people interested in, in legislation. That doesn't exist today. That's what this journal is going to do. So if you think about it, this is a sort of multi-directional process where basic research informs clinical research, clinical research informs basic research by posing critical questions that need to be answered. We want the journal to address problems that a broad group of scientists and physician scientists are interested in. We want to appeal to engineers, we want to appeal to um, clinical physicians, we want to appeal to chemists, basic scientists, people in pharmaceutical industries. AAAS uh, has published science for a long time and we do have another knowledge environment called science signaling. Everyone here at AAAS is very excited about it. The partnership between translational medicine and AAAS makes perfect sense. Why? As I said, you cannot make progress in translational medicine unless you understand A, the complexity of the underlying science, and B, the fact that it requires the collaboration of multiple disciplines, and it requires people who are willing to go out of their silos, out of their com comfort zone, 
and break the barriers that sort of constrain them to their very narrow point of view. Well, what organization really does that well? AAAS. We expect this to be a tremendously important contribution to science because we'll provide a forum, we'll provide a venue where basic and clinical researchers can talk to each other.